about five foot 11, 250, slimming down is Dan Ma, and he has to look up at the challenger. After everything that's happened here tonight, we're gonna see Dan Ma against one member of the Hillbilly Wrecking Crew. Slugs him in the face, does Brody Lee. And this is it, the main event. Brody Lee, the surprise opponent for Dan Moff. Moff has had no time to prepare for Brody Lee's style of wrestling. We'll see if he can still pull it out. Wow, and just hear the fists just come off of each other. And Brody Lee just staggers the champion out to the ring apron. Moff blocked that hit. Oh, he's grabbing him by the beard. The champion has the challenger by the pier. Oh, and that can't feel good. And he's got him again. Bo against the ropes. Using Brody Lee's own body hair against him. Close line him over that top rope, but Dan Moff paid. Brody came charging with that big boot, setting the champion in the steel barricade. And like a human torpedo, Brody Lee went out to the floor and once again. And they go out to the floor, the fans scatter, and this matchup looks to be going out to the crowd. Well, as I said, Dan Moff had no time to train for Brody Lee's style of wrestling, and this is Brody Lee's style of wrestling. Down and dirty, in the crowd, weapons, injuring, anything he can do, hurting, pain, destruction. That's Brody Lee's MO. And the lights come up here in the Raleigh Recreation Center for the Jersey All-Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Dan Moff and Brody Lee, much like Sarah Del Rey and Haley Hatred, proving why each of them wants or want to keep the Heavyweight Championship. I pity our camera people tonight. I, I, I do as well, but I'm certainly happy that Moff and Brody Lee haven't come over this way. The whole table just exploded. Brody Lee has the remnants of that table and just throwing it across the body of our heavyweight champion. Where are they going, Clemson? They're not going outside, are they? Somebody move my car. Well, I hope not. Because we can barely see anything now. I hope they don't go outside. What do you mean we can see? Who cares about we can see? Somebody's got to move my car. Well, go ahead. There's nothing stopping. Clemson, why don't I give you the keys? Uh, never mind. I'm not covered by your insurance. Never mind. I'm coming back. Well, thankfully, they didn't go outside yet. But again, they're amongst the ringsiders. And again, on the vendor's table. Oh, look out. Look out. Oh! Brody Lee just picked up Dan Moff and slammed him. And that table didn't break. Moff just bounced off the table. And when you fall on a table and don't break it, you feel every bit of impact that falling on a hard table offers. Brody Lee up to his feet. Oh! Dan Moff picked up that table again. Oh, look out for the light tower. There's about $3,000 worth of lights right there. Oh, no. Uh oh There he comes. Everybody. Over into the vendor section. He, he went over the DVDs. Good for him. Well, now we're going to find out if Rob Feinstein paid his... Whoa, look out. Dan Moff on the other set of bleachers comes up. He just killed half of the RF video profits for tonight. So much for those DVDs. I don't know if... Bro I don't know if Brody Lee's up to his feet. Oh, he's fighting. Oh! Across the head with a DVD, and there's pieces of it. Or at least there was. Oh, God. Oh, that God. The, that was the primetime oh Sam Roberts oh shoot interview. No! No! Well, we know the JPW people paid their bills. Oh! I told you to keep them away from us. Oh, oh. I told you to keep them away from us, Clemson. Oh, like I had anything to do with it. No, 
They're very close here. I'm very scared, Mark. Okay, they're starting to back away. As the Jersey All Pro DVD table is in shambles. And we just got engulfed by, by all the fans. If there's any shaky camera work, it's because these fans were climbing up our camera position. Yeah, yeah they were. They didn't care. And the inventory crew is now scrambling to fix the DVD section oh, yeah. as Moff and Brody Lee make their way back to the ring. And Moff has a barrier that he slammed across the face of Brody Lee. It's not like the word wrestling is in this at all. At all. This is just a plain old fight. I hear barricades. They are destroying the ringside area, dismantling everything. The wreck people are taking away all the tables. Oh, please oh, don't no. come back. No, you're finished over here. There's nothing left to destroy. Then Moth went into those barricades head first. And Brody Lee could just be minutes away from becoming the new Jersey All-Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. If Brody Lee wins the world title, I don't think the Jersey All-Pro can afford to have a match like this as the main event of every show. I don't know if they can afford to have a match like this on every show, period, much less a uh, main event show. Brody Lee is now up on the apron, and Joe oh. drops the elbow on the mop. I just don't understand why they have to take out all the DVDs. At least four vendors, at least four vendor tables got taken out in this brawl. I mean, look, there's guardrails all over the area. They're all broken and bent. Yeah, really, there's, I don't know there's much keeping the fans away from ringside. You know, they'll go up to the ring <laughs> if there's no guardrails. They're that crazy. Uh, Brody Lee is more effective than any guardrail I've ever seen. I will agree with you there. But Dan Moff has just been taking so much assault here by Brody Leaf. Cover here, and Moff kicks out after two. I'm surprised the champ was able to kick out. I don't remember the last time we've seen Dan Moff take damage like this. He has really taken a lot of hits. And Clemson, he didn't have time to prepare for Brody Lee. Brody Lee was a surprise opponent. We may see a brand new Jersey All-Pro World Champion here tonight. Brody Lee might win that belt. It would not surprise me in the least because the last time Dan Moff was through a test like this, oh, as he goes head first into the chair was when he wrestled the Necro Butcher both here in Rawway and in Beachwood. However, he knew he was gonna wrestle the Necro Butcher tonight. He had no idea, oh, he was taking on Brody Lee and the champ is busted open. He's laid out on the mat. Yes, he's bleeding. He took multiple shots to the head. One, two, no, not yet. Moff has a lot to fight for. That world title means everything to Dan Moff. And he will not let himself leave his shoulders on the mat for three seconds if he can help it at all. Yeah, but what's going to happen? Dan Moff took a hold. Oh, no, and a plastic oh, bag. He's going to kill him. Get the bag off his head. Brody Lee definitely learning from his mentor, the Necro Butcher. We saw Butcher do that a couple times back about a year or so ago against Hernandez. I mean, you the last wild card. You say choose death. I didn't know you meant it so literally. Yes. How, why would one even think of doing something like that is what I want to know. It just, it's not even sportsmanlike or competitive. No. It just damaging it just shows the lengths that Brody Lee will go to not only win the heavyweight championship but embarrass and take away the, the self-respect of Dan Moff I mean who puts a bag over somebody else's head that's the one thing you're taught as a child not to play with those bags big chop to Dan Moff and he's asking for something Clemson he's asking for something and that photographer at ringside very smart to give Brody Lee exactly what he wants and you see the blood of Dan Moth all over the shirt of Brody Lee. Brody Lee might use that as a memento if he comes out victorious and becomes the next Jersey L Pro heavyweight champion. Brody Lee really seems to like bloodying Dan Moth tonight. 
He really seems to be enjoying it. Again, another steel chair becomes a factor in this contest. Brody Lee sets it up over the body, but Dan Moff up to his feet. Brody Lee doesn't have any idea and just gets met with that steel chair right across the head. Brody Lee now walking on rubber legs as the champ is trying to regain his composure. Moff got the chair in the midsection and he raises it up down across the back. And look at the evil look in the eyes of the champ as he just smashed that steel chair right across the back of the challenger. He oh, takes the he, blood off his forehead. That's just disgusting. Oh, across the face. And maybe making Dan Moff bleed wasn't the smartest thing in the world. Moff getting all pumped up here. Brody Lee laying down in the corner and the champ measuring up and a human cannonball in the corner. Moff got some extra air and his back went right across the face of Brody Lee. Moff is dragging Brody Lee, he's trying to cover him. Only a one count, believe it or not. One. Moff now. Brody Lee's not, Moff saying that's it. Brody Lee's not moving, look at that. Standing moonsault, hook of the leg. And Brody Lee kicks out. Incredible action we've seen and are seeing here tonight as Dan Moff goes up the ropes. Brody Lee getting up to his feet. Moff now once again measuring up the challenge. Comes, oh, came off the ropes, but Brody Lee caught him. Has his hand right across his neck and nails him with a choke slam. A massive choke slam dumps Moff down. And is that enough to put Moff away? He's dragging him up to his feet, it looks like. And the chops continue. Brody Lee going to the far side of the ring. Moff not moving. Lee comes charging. And a knife edge chop right across the chest. Moff being set on that top turnbuckle. Oh, nice. Nice punch right to the face. I guess if any punch is nice, that was one. Brody Lee has the champ. And I'm surprised that superplex didn't cave in the ring. Yeah, I, I was just about to say, I can't believe the ring's in one piece after that. The crowd is in awe here. The house lights are still on. People are still standing. They don't know what to make of this match. The referee's up to five. I wouldn't be surprised if we have a, a double count out here. I mean, if, if they couldn't get up, it'd be hard to blame them. Now it's just an old fashioned slugfest. Both men on their knees, but continuing to fight away. The Jersey All Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship on the line. The main event here at Wild Card Six. Neither man is ready to give up on this match, and Moff hits him hard. Roaring elbow. Moff, big time German suplex. And at this point in the match, I gotta wonder, will Moff be able to hit the burning hammer? Nice kibashi plex again by the champ. He's going for the cover now. Moff needs to hit that rolling thunder. Once he does, if history tells us anything, one would think it would all be over. Both athletes slow getting up to their feet. Certainly feeling what this match has given them right now. Going all over the Raleigh Recreation Center, hitting almost every vending table that there is here tonight. Oh, oh! oh my God. Moth came full steam ahead from the corner and Brody Lee just took him out with a big right hand and now a boot to the face. And a second time, Moff has to be knocked out now. Brody Lee trying to go for the trifecta. Moff's title is definitely in jeopardy right now. The world title could easily go to the Hillbilly Wrecking Crew here tonight. That chaotic group of rednecks could represent, oh, the highest tier of wrestlers in Jersey All Pro Wrestling. Brody Lee, a former tag team champion, wants his taste of first singles gold here tonight and with 
boots like that, he could just be a mere three seconds away of becoming the champ. A kick out, and you know, we shouldn't forget, the Hillbilly Wrecking Crew has had a problem with Dan Moff being champion ever since Dan Moff won the title. Very good point. I mean, there is no love loss between these two men, and they certainly have a history. Moff is in a bad spot right now. Fans here are still are, are all piled out on the floor here. Just waiting to see if this action once again will go out all over ringside. I mean, and there's no reason to think it won't, quite frankly. But Brody Lee in sound control and full control right now over the heavyweight champion. Dan Moff appears to be out on his feet as the big Brody Lee is taking full advantage of that. Right hands to the world heavyweight champion. And Moff escapes. Moff is starting to oh. come back. Could this be it? Moff has him over his shoulders. Moff has Brody Lee, 292 pounds, over his shoulders. Burning hammer. Burning hammer by the champ. Hook of the leg. And Moff is successful. How did he do that? Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, and still, Jersey.